Welcome with a new episode of the Market Reporters. And every week we discuss hot topics from the stock market or from the economy. And we love to talk about sectors and subsectors. But today we're going to talk about something that's going on in Spain and is going on in <coughs> As in a sector and it's a really important thing for I think for whole Spain and also for Europe um, and it's 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 going on for four years it it, it took a it took an, uh, an, an, an rally in the last months and especially this week something happened that didn't occur for the last four years yeah, what is then? And then you obviously all know what is happening. <laughs> yeah. And when the moment you're looking at this, you might have to, maybe it's about Fed of Real that went through the NASDAQ for a 60% rise in the price. Now we're going to talk about, in this case, BDVA and Banco Sabadell. Two banks. Two banks. From Spain. Uh, big banks. Because uh, BBVA, if you look at the market capitalization, is the second largest bank in Spain. Yeah. Banco Santander is the largest, Caixa Bank is number three, and number four is Sabadell. So a merger or takeover will, will, yeah, that will create a the largest Spanish bank. So it's really important yeah. and also a really important European player. So they are talking for four years uh, with each other, and they did an offer, and they is BBVA. They offered a amount for a takeover of Sabadell. The board of directors said, no, 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 that's not enough. We value our company uh, uh, a little bit higher. And then they did something that what I just said, that didn't that didn't happen for the last 40 years. They did a hostile offer, hostile offer. And they said to, um, they went around the company and they said to the shareholders, we want to buy your shares. And um, the offer that we did, that's the, that's the maximum that we can offer. So don't. Uh, think that we can offer more, but this is what it is. So they, 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 the same offer that they presented to the board of directors of Sabadell, they presented direct, directly to the shareholders. And so that's not an, a friendly offer anymore. No. And then, yeah, you, you open uh, the box of uh, Pandora. Pandora, no? <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> because can what that happens then? Yeah. Yeah. What? So, so yeah, because a little bit of in depth, eh? you said it was already four years. Well, this the, the, the large meeting, the board meeting with the, between the two uh, companies took place last week on on Thursday, the 29th of April, and it took until the middle of the night, and uh, they were discussing, they were discussing, and who was going to do it, what, 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 and in the end, they didn't get to an agreement. Um, as you say, BBVA said, "Well, we are then launching a hostile attack." And what does that mean? It's basically that that you're going around the board and you go directly to the shareholders. And in this case, what they offered was that for one share of uh, BBVA, you had to deliver 4.83 shares of um, uh, Banco Sabadell. And um, initially, of course, that was more interesting than it was now, because you can imagine what happens with the price of the stocks. Eh? BBVA goes up, Banco Sabadell goes down, so the gap becomes bigger. So in this case, uh, the profit, because as, as a buyer, you need to pay a little bit of premium. And the premium was initially around uh, 30%. That went down to... Yeah, where we are at the moment, around 8%. But yeah, as you said, I think uh, correctly, if you uh, look at the share price when these discussions came out, the first uh, rumors came out, yeah, then you're already looking at a bonus or a premium of almost uh, 50%. So yeah, it's always important to um, yeah to take that in consideration. Martin, mm -hmm. take us. Where are those banks coming from? Are they all from the south? <laughs> are they from uh, Tenerife? Yeah, I think the names, <laughs> yeah, but that's really important name, in this yeah, discussion. But, huh? yeah, 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 but the names tell a lot, and, and specifically as you also read in the financial times, and, and, and a lot of a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, yeah, international newspapers, the polit political influences on this deal will be quite impactful. Um, Sabadell is coming from Catalonia. You have BBVA, which is coming from Banco Bilbao, which is in. Pais Basco. So, yeah, two very strong provinces, but strong, I'm going to say, with the characters of the people that are there. They're both very much independistas, eh? so they want to segregate, they want to split off from Spain. It's also quite funny. The Basques have been trying that in the past, and now Catalonia is also trying that. There's a lot of things going on in the political landscape in Spain with this, no? with, uh, with Sanchez giving amnesty to all the people from Catalonia to get more votes, to get more power behind him. Doesn't uh, yeah, doesn't is also nice, but let's stay away from the politics. But it will have impact because what are they saying? The the the, the Catalonians they say well uh, in this case um, that it will be very yeah a big disadvantage for yeah mainly the smaller 
and uh, middle-sized companies because there's a big credit facility from Banco Sabadell for Catalonian uh, uh, smaller companies. And they are scared that this will, because yeah, the main activity will move towards yeah, the other part of Spain. So I'm not I'm sure about but that's what they're saying. It will impact them. Um, also, they, they're worried about jobs. It will, it, will, it will create a lot of job losses. In, um, it will have an impact on, on that, not, direct, not only directly in the bank, but also due to the lack of financing. And yeah, if you look for more from a national perspective, so nationally, yeah, what they're saying is they would rather see a concentration of banks in Europe rather than having it in Spain, because as you said already, uh, Santander is the biggest, the second one and the fourth one. Yeah, but that you get a really concentrated landscape, which is not very um, much what the government wants. But on the other hand, you had uh, before the financial crisis, you had so many different banks, cajas, so yeah. many cajas. And that's also strange, actually. What you say, yeah, because they have been joining. Yeah. there have been a lot of fusions. That was the, the goal, years. yeah, mm. to to make the landscape smaller and create bigger banks. But this is one step too far from them. And why want BBVA wants to buy Sabadell? Yeah, what's the why? Yeah, yeah. That's so they're both. Uh, what Martin explained: pure Spanish banks, pure players on the Spanish market. No, they are not. Um, BBVA most of the assets they have in Spain, but half of their income, for example, is coming from Mexico, and they also have um, um, quite some big positions in the UK and in Turkey. Mm. So, um, and, and Sabadell is purely concentrating on the Spanish market. So they say together, you know, and they, they, they offer a lot of loans to, uh, to, to, to companies. That's, that's what they don't do. So uh, from a strategic perspective, they, there is an, is, they could have a, um, a good uh, cooperation. Um, but, but it's a completely different bank. And I, I, what you also said, okay, uh, it, the, 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 the European Central Bank has to give them their approval. The Bank of Mexico has to give their approval, politicals. Uh, so this is going to be a really tough case. Yeah. But on the other hand, you, you think that if they make that kind of offer, they will do their homework, mm. no? So yes, they yes, know, yeah. because if you look at the shareholder's perspective, uh, from a mm. shareholder perspective, it's all... Uh, how does it uh, Yeah, if you look at if you, what, what, what they have to have 50.01% of the shares mm. to be able to make this go through. And um, what, what, I've, what, what I read was quite interesting. So if you look at Banco Bilbao, eh, BBVA, if you look at their shareholders, the same shareholders already hold 20 something percent in Banco Sabadell. So what they assume is that those shareholders will automatically say yes, well, so they have already 20, then they have to find another 29% um, to 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 uh, convince and so, like you said, some people might find it interesting after years of negative the you know, on the price. Uh, now all of a sudden you can sell them with a seventy percent uh, uh, profit. Um, yeah, they might consider that. And so the question is, did they do their homework? Did they already mm. talk with their existing shareholders? Probably they did. Yeah. And uh, and did they already talk with other uh, big shareholders from Sabadell that are not shareholders of BVR? Yeah. Probably they did. If they didn't do it, then they, I think, then they didn't do a good job. No. And um, yeah, looking looking at the price of Sabadell and uh, share price, the beginning of this year it was trading at around 115, 1.15. It's now trading at 1.85. So it's already gained 70%. Hmm. If you look back 20 years ago, 50 years ago, it was trade. It was not every year seventy percent up. This is a really good year, mm. but mainly driven by that, uh, by that uh, possible takeover, especially driven by that offer. So, if you are uh, a shareholder of Sabadell for uh, for a long time, maybe this is not the right moment. But if you are a share for a short time, I think you made already a great profit. And what, uh, what you also said, the, the price went up because of that offer. So yeah. you can wait for the offer, or you can say, okay. Uh, the offer is a little bit higher probably than the existing price, but I have already such a huge profit this year or for the last two years, yeah. um, then uh, I take my, I know what to do. Yeah, but it, it, they, they are very, yeah, if you look at what Carlos Torres is, the CEO of PVA, he's pretty confident that within six months, he will get the votes necessary to get this through. When that is done, then he basically needs mm. to present it. Uh, I wrote it down here. Yes, I have it here. It's for you to have an understanding. Yeah? So six, six months to get all the votes. Then he has to process it to the uh, supervisor still. And then it will take approximately another 70 days on average to get it uh, to get full control of Sabel. So you're talking mid-2025 to get this. 
yeah. yeah, completely done. Yeah. So um, and uh, yeah, so so it's an uh, it's a strange move we can say from where we are. What you see, yeah. what you read, uh, in, in, in the marketing is a strange move. So hopefully and probably they did their homework and uh, in it's really it's really aggressive. Yeah. It's also what is a violent takeover, but it's like in a world where you all start. But it's a little bit, I think, the the highlight of it highlights how Spain is. Uh, maybe that uh, sounds maybe strange, but in the sense that the the the, 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 the separatistas and everything, it, it, it is pretty clear. I mean, why would you do that? Imagine that ING and AB number in the Holland. You couldn't imagine. No, but on the other hand, this is the first. Uh, this kind of offer is it didn't but, happen for the last forty years. So yeah, it's okay, not, okay, yeah. but 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 it's it's. It's not small players. It's big players. They are important players. Number for two Spain. and number four. Number two and four. Also for the Spanish economy. Look yeah. at the Spanish stock market. We'll have really yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's influence. also the, what politicians said, and, and it, this is really important for the financial system. Uh, also, when it collapses, it also makes an uh, yeah. makes an, uh, it, it leaves a huge impact. So even if you are not investing in Spain or not investing even in banks, it is an important thing that's going on, and we try to inform you. Yeah. And so if you are holders of the shares, you can and you can draw your conclusions or you can do your homework further. But we wanted to give some insight. Yeah. If you don't, if you're not a shareholder, then you have to. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you can you, you, you look at it from a different perspective. And I think um, everybody can draw his own conclusions out of this uh, little piece of information. No? Absolutely. Well, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next week. Give us your time. Thank you so much.